very well. What is it that drives you? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. Very well. What is it that drives you? Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. And why do you need such a thing? But we shall leave such male preoccupations for philosophers and cultural historians. A lightsaber, any weapon, only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. The knowledge has already been imparted to you. Upon our journey, the pieces shall fall into place. Ask, and I will answer. Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy into light and dark. Categorize it. Perhaps I am neither. And I hold both as what they are pieces of a whole. Know that I am your teacher, and that is enough. Or what? Shall you kill me? Hurt me? You would only be inflicting harm on yourself. Perhaps you will keep me here on this ship, prisoner, unable to leave. Perhaps you will simply cast me out, exile me, it matters not. Ask, and I will answer. Does it perhaps? Or what? Ask. Does it perhaps? Ask. Nothing more. There. Something up? Alright, but I'm out of credits. So it's Republic Senate rules. That's where we waste a lot of time trading cards and trying to beat each other. But in the end, nobody wins. Everybody loses, and nobody accomplishes anything. It's like stalemate, except the goal is to pass time until the audience gets bored and leaves. Sure. Shouldn't be a problem. It's basically a numbers game, but I can give you the ground rules.
Something up? Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Ethorian Planet Restoration Interest. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. Very well. Perhaps Choda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people if they truly suffer so. <laughs> Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Thank you for accepting my call. 
As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Yes, they play at being downtrodden innocents, having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. Oh, I'm sure you've heard that you're a Jedi, one of the last, wanted by the Exchange and who knows how many other organizations for reasons good or ill. But that's of no interest to me. The Jedi and your standing with them have no bearing on this discussion. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the Exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the Exchange to you if you work with them. Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability, for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this. And we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search.
further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station, whether it's the Ebonhawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shaddaa, maybe. 
If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? <laughs> 